Like the title says, we're going to be making a $400 PC that exceeds the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The motherboard that we're going to be using is the Asus P8B75M. Now this is a great motherboard because it has two USB 3.0 ports, has a great BIOS, can support up to 4 RAM sticks, up to 32 gigabytes, 8 channel audio, and it's all just for 68 bucks. The CPU that we're going to be using on the motherboard is the Intel Celeron G1610. And for 43 bucks, this is an amazing processor. It's comparable to the Xbox One's and PlayStation 4's processors, even though they are 8 core and this is only a dual core. Now, this graphics card, GeForce GTX 750 Ti, is actually a bit better than the Xbox One's and PlayStation 4's. It has 2 gigs of RAM. Its clock speed can actually go up to 1,255 MHz, which is pretty good considering it only costs 149 bucks. Now for the RAM, we're going to be using the Kingston HyperX Blue 1 8GB stick. It's a 1600 MHz, which is pretty good. Uh, but the problem is that it's only one stick. Two sticks usually work a lot better. So I'm going to recommend that if you have an, an extra 20 bucks, you purchase the Corsair Vengeance Blue 2x4GB sticks. The hard drive is the Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive. It's pretty fast, it's 7000 revolutions per minute. That's actually kind of standard now. But for $53, it's actually really good. Now the case that we're going to be using is a, is a no frills case. It's not amazing or anything. It only has USB 2.0 ports. But it's for 20 bucks, and we need to keep the price low so it's going to work well. But if you do have an extra $10, 15 I would recommend that you get the Rosewill Micro ATX Mini Tower Case because it has two USB 3.0 ports and it looks a lot better. But size wise they're pretty much the same. They are great for upgrades. They have plenty of room for them. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. To power this machine up we're going to be using a 450 watt power supply. It's $15, it gets the job done, but if you want to upgrade to a 600 watt power supply, there's this one. It's 600 watt, it's $28, and it's got a bigger fan. So if you want that upgrade, it's $28. Only around 13 extra bucks. And if you want to make this machine wireless, you can get an $8 Wi-Fi USB adapter. The good thing about this thing, it's pretty small. And same with a Bluetooth adapter. It's a Bluetooth 2.0 adapter. It's pretty small as well. Only $2. So both of them will cost you $9 in total. And that basically sums it up. If you want to like, favorite, and subscribe, you can. If you don't, I don't care. Thank you.